So the first thing I do is I make a Mario coin and I have this Easter basket that you can hold and make into an oval shape so I trace that and cut it out of cardboard and you need five of these to make a coin so I cut out five of those and then I'm going to grab a spare piece of cardboard and I'm going to cut out a five inch by one and a half inch piece And I'm going to use that piece as a tracing guide in the center of two of my circles. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out once it's finished. I'm going to take two of my other circles and I'm going to make a small trim about an inch thick on the ends and I'm going to cut the center out. And now I can begin gluing. So you have one piece that's a complete circle and you're going to glue one of your rectangle pieces to that and then the trim to that. And then you're gonna flip it over and do the same on the other side. And if you'd like, you can add a piece of paper around the outside as you trim to hide the cardboard edges. Once it's all cool and dry, you can go ahead and paint. I'm using gold to make it look more realistic, but you could do yellow like they do in Mario. And you're going to have to do a few layers of that and then go ahead and Mod Podge. And if you want to hang it up like I did, you're going to need some clear fishing wire or fishing string and some tape and just push that through and you can hang it up. Now for the actual Mario question box, I got this box for 48 cents at Walmart. It's kind of small, but it'll work. And on one end, I'm going to completely glue it shut. Then go ahead and flip your box over and cut off two of the flaps, two that are across from each other. I'm going to get some wire, and I'm going to curl the two ends and make a little hook and an eye. There's the hook and they will be able to attach to each other. I'm going to add some glue and stick that in between the piece of cardboard on the flap like this. And I'm doing the same with the eye as well, making sure that they match up so that they will connect and open. Then I'm going to go ahead and paint my box. I think I did about four layers to completely hide everything, but it's completely up to you how many layers you want to do. Next I take my pattern for the question mark and I did this on the wrong color. You're going to want to do it on white. I don't know what convinced me that I need to do the question mark on red and go ahead and Mod Podge that on while you Mod Podge your box. If you want to hang this up, add some fishing string to it and on each side. Um, you're going to want some on all four corners to meet together and you can hang it up. Now if you want to put something inside like I did, I got some felt to make a flower power. And I will have this pattern up for you guys on my website a little bit later today. Cut each of the pieces out in the color that's assigned to them. So the bottom part of the red oval to the stem of the flower power. Make sure you do this for both pieces. Next, take some black thread and sew on the eyes. Then with white thread, sew the white circle to the yellow circle. Next, use yellow thread to sew the yellow circle to the red circle.
Then use red thread to sew the two red ovals together and only go from the start of the red oval beside the stem on one side to the other side on the other side of the stem because once you're finished with that you're going to stuff this part and you're going to switch to some green thread begin sewing around the stem in the green thread leaving an area open on one end so you can stuff it Once you have it stuffed the way you like it, go ahead and sew up that last end and you're done. Thanks to everybody for watching this video and if you want the list of supplies, it is down in the description as well as my website where I will be putting up my patterns for you guys later on today. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks for watching.